Yo, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to talk about Zeke Nanji. I hope I said that correctly. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Zeke Nanji is looking bird. So according to Mike Singer of the Denver Post, he tweeted, heard Zeke Nanji is back in town working out with the Denver's coaches. He was told that Zeke Nanji put on 11 pounds of muscle and is up to 252 pounds. Could be a big opportunity for him coming off the bench. He can play saying, the three, the four, or the five. They're expecting Zeke Nanji to play the three, the four, or the five, as you saw in the tweet in the beginning. Added size will help in the event he plays more backup center minutes. And I've said this before. Look at the Denver Nuggets roster. They needed size. Okay? It wasn't me trying to be disrespectful at all. It was just a, a realistic thing that they needed some size on that team. And I think they did the right thing. Because, look, they brought in DeAndre Jordan, but he's more of a locker room guy. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. DeAndre Jordan's more of a locker room guy. Their only true backup big man, okay? Because Bruce Brown, technically, he's a small ball. but And Aaron Gordon could play small ball. But, you know, most of the time, it's Nikola Jokic, Nikola Jokic who's going to be playing 40 minutes a night. So they need someone to play, you know, 8 to 10 minutes a night at center. And that's Zeke Nanji. Zeke Nanji can do it. I believe in him, okay? I mean, yeah, they have Adonis Arms and Kellen Grady, but none of those guys are really backup bigs. DeAndre Jordan, we're, we're not even expecting DeAndre to play much, okay? Because, like, DeAndre Jordan last year was, for the past few years, I mean, he finagled a contract from the Brooklyn Nets, but basically he played 13.4 minutes a night for the Sixers after playing 32 minutes a night for the lakers and i know he's a shell of himself but what we need from zeke okay who i'm a big fan of zeke went from nine and a half minutes to 17 minutes a night last year so let's say he tacks on you know let's have him play 20 to 25 uh, he shot ridiculous you know 51.6 from the field 46.3 on limited attempts from three those numbers you know are a bit skewed he doesn't shoot that much from three, but he, he's a very capable shooter in his own right. So don't doubt him, okay? But, and he didn't play much post All-Star break, but he was a guy who, you know, was attempting almost two three-pointers a game, you know, pre-All-Star break and was hitting 48.7% of them. And arguably most, you know, 50% of his shots, he was taking four and a half, were from three. So he's a guy who's comfortable shooting three-pointers. He was 22nd pick out of... Arizona two years ago and he's from Min not Minnesota from Arizona, but he's from Minnesota and You know, it's funny. He actually played with Matthew Hurt in high school But look Zeke Nanji is a guy who in college he averaged 16.1 points in 30 minutes a night eight and a half rebounds so What I expect from Zeke Okay Is the ability to come in here, I know in college he barely averaged a block a game. So obviously, he, and he came into the league at 240. Now that he's at 252, that's fantastic. He'll be able to bang down low. I, I hope he can average one one block a game. I mean, his per 36 minutes are a little under a block a game and like 13 points a night, but and it's like seven rebounds. But if he can come in, you know, 20 to 25 minutes a night averaging close to nine 10 points a night giving you you know either a steal or a block a game one assist and like five to six rebounds while shooting efficiently i think he could be the backup big man that they've needed and when i say breakout i just think playing consistent minutes he's only played 83 years in the past two seasons 41 the year before 41 this year 42 the year before started two games in his career Okay, I think he's somebody who's very capable in his own right, but Zeke Nanji needs to basically, I personally think, just figure out his, like his spots on the court where he's going to, you know, I think he needs to focus on shooting threes. Okay, I do believe that he does need to focus on shooting threes. And I, I do believe that, like, look, one of his last, on April 11th, he played the Lakers. And in that game, he played 26 minutes. He shot four three-pointers. I like that. I want him to shoot three to four three-pointers a night. And Zeke Nanji got hurt. Because he got, he didn't play from February 12th to March 10th. And then didn't play from March 10th 
to April 11th. So hopefully this year he can, you know, stay healthy. What are your thoughts down below?